In this video, I'm going to be able to show you my entire process in order to be able to find relevant literature and save it in Zotero without any manual work. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start with Elicit. And I'm going to go ahead and show you this on Elicit's new beta view, as I feel like that's what's going to be going forward in the future. So to make this video relevant the longest, but you can do this on the old Elicit sites as well. If you come to Elicit's new beta view, um, you can see that it has Welcome to Elicit. And what we're going to use is the free workflow. The free workflow is find scientific research papers. And I will leave a video linked above that goes through everything about how to use this specific workflow right here. But we're just going to click on that and then we can add in our search query. So if we are just getting started working in our research field, we can go ahead and add this in to be able to find general literature about our research field. Now, if you are just getting started, I would recommend downloading my 30 day research jumpstart guide to figure out what papers you should read, what order you should read them in, and then how to actually develop ideas and research projects from those papers. That link to that guide will be in the description below. It's completely free. But we can start here to start getting an idea of the literature that we would want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and go into search for papers and I'm going to do a completely new field like I am a beginner and I'm going to go ahead and do effects of recovery on power lifting. And we'll specifically do like cold therapy recovery on powerlifting. And we're going to go ahead and search this. So you can see here, it's starting to give me a summary and I can go ahead and add or alter filter these results for different things. So one of the things that I want to go ahead and add as a filter is I want to only be looking for powerlifting. So I'm going to add that in as a filter so that I'm only getting things that are talking specifically about powerlifting. I want to go ahead and get as simple as possible. And then I'm going to allow um, Research Rabbit, the next tool, to be able to broaden that out again. But this helps me so that when I go into Research Rabbit, it's not looking for even broader set of things. So this is now all limited to powerlifting. This is not specifically all talking about um, cold therapy. You can see some of these are warm up things as well, or even all talking about recovery. As you can see, there are different warm ups as well in here. But I'm going to go ahead and use this set of data to move forward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click download the bib text file. So now I have the bib text file basically just includes all of the reference information for all of these references. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to research rabbit. So this is at researchrabbit.ai and I'm going to go ahead and log in. And when I do this, I'm going to create a new collection under my tutorial, since this is a tutorial, and I'm going to do recovery effects on power lifting. All right. So now we're in here and we're going to click add papers. And what we're going to do is we're going to upload that bib text file that we just downloaded from Elicit. So we're going to come in to here and then here's my bib text file. And so I just need to open this. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring in all of those references from Elicit into this. And you could have loaded more into Elicit first before downloading that bib text file. So now what it did is it says from your uploaded file, there was one that wasn't, it didn't have a valid DOI in it. Um, so it searched for the title and you can say, yes, add this paper, that is the paper and so we can see that there are several of these. We're just gonna say, add this paper in. So you previously wouldn't have had to do this with the old illicit. And that's because it included the DOIs in these files. I'm really hoping that illicit will, in its beta version, start including the DOIs back into these files as it just makes it so much easier to do everything you're doing. So if you're on the old illicit, you probably wouldn't have gotten any of those. On the new illicit, it's gonna have to now search for research tribe, but we'll have to search for those things now. So now we have a bunch of different papers in here that all came from Elicit. We kind of know a general idea of what they're about. And now we can look for similar work. And so using Research Rabbit, we can now find what is the similar work that we may also want to include in our things. So you can see we're getting a lot of things talking about powerlifting because all of those papers came from powerlifting. And what we can do is we can just click these to select them. It's going to give us more information over here. 
And then we can just click the checkbox here if that's what we want to now um, also include. So I'm gonna go through and just include some of these into my analysis. And then if we're getting some that don't include power lifting, um, what we can always do is come up here and filter for power lifting. I'm just gonna do power lift because it's power lifters or power lifting, maybe a little bit different. So I can just add a few more. And so we can see that a lot of these aren't really talking about recovery anymore. And I think that comes from the fact that Elicit didn't really give us a ton of things about recovery. Um, it gave us a, a lot of different things that we could use. So because of that, we if we wanted to narrow to recovery, I would have gone back to Elicit, added that as a filter to narrow to recovery, and then move forward from that. But I'm just gonna kind of stay a little bit broader here and let this be my broader collection um, on powerlifting. So I've clicked a bunch of these over here. I've selected 12 different papers that I want to add. And so what I can now do is add these to my collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add to. It's gonna add these 12 papers in here. And then from this similar work, I can click exit and I'm gonna go out here. So you can now see a similar work is 857. There's a lot more papers now because I've added in papers, there's a lot more things that could be relevant to it. So I could keep going through and adding more and more of these papers in. I can look at later work as well to try and get more recent work. Um, and so, you know, we can click on these. This is a review. That might be a good one to look at as well. I'm just going to include a few of these in here. And so we can add these as well. And then we can come back out. So now we have 24 different papers in this Research Rabbit collection all about powerlifting. So now what I can do is I'm going to go ahead and add all of these to a Zotero. Um, this will allow me to be able to look at these later. I can also export these as a CSV. So if you don't have my Notion template um, that you can connect straight to your Zotero, then you could export them as a CSV and then upload them into something like Notion or, or another database system that you're using. So what I'm gonna do is click sync to Zotero down here, and I'm gonna just make this my powerlifting um, collection, and I'm gonna click OK. So you can see down here, it says successfully created and synced collection powerlifting in Zotero. Let's jump over to my Zotero. And you can see that it is not showing in here yet, so I'm just gonna refresh. And you can see now I have powerlifting in here and it's filling out all this information, but now I've gone from elicit to be able to expand those papers out more, include more of the papers using Research Rabbit. And now I already have them saved into my Zotero. So if I was trying to write something, I can go ahead and start um, searching these papers. I can start citing these papers. And you can even see that because it came from um, Research Rabbit, even though it doesn't have the PDFs in here, that's one thing that I would add in. It already has the abstracts in here. So when I'm searching stuff, I can also be searching the abstracts. So if I'm looking specifically for what papers talk about recovery, you can see these five papers come up now. They are searchable. And these don't even have recovery in the title here, or at least not all of them do, but they probably have recovery within their abstract. And so now this makes it super searchable. Um, being able to go from elicit all the way to this. If I go back to my elicit, and let's say I want to copy some of these abstract summaries in here. So I'm just gonna copy this, and then I'm gonna look for our strength indicators. So I can look here, and then I can add a note here with that information in it. And so I can go ahead and say this is Elicit abstract summary. 
So now you'll see Elicit's abstract summary appears here. This is now also searchable as well. So this is what kind of allows us to start um, pulling this information in. Obviously, this is going to be a manual process if you're trying to pull Elicit's abstract summaries in, but it does give you a place to start with and then go ahead and organize things in Zotero. If you also had your Notion database synced to Zotero and you have this specific collection as one that would get um, updated, then all of this information would also get directly synced to Notion as well. So that is one of the nice benefits of this kind of system is I'm not having to manually put this in all these different places. It's directly getting um, upload it into its appropriate place. If you want to check out how to sync your Zotero to your Notion, I will leave that video right here. And if you want to check out a video about the new illicit beta feature, I will leave that video here as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.